Hi guys, just an update on the weird stalker that I've got on my YouTube channel. Um, her YouTube channel, Razor Blade, I'll post a link to her profile and to this video that she has uploaded two weeks ago, just before the stalking became more prolific. And she openly admits she's just made this video public i haven't ever seen this video before but she keeps she makes videos and then she keeps them private and then she's made, switching between keeping things private and keeping things public just to suit her really it gives people with her personality type um personality disorder a sense of empowerment and control when they can just decide when to do things so she openly admits on this video that i'm going to show you next it is a voiceover video that she's recorded herself and um, i don't know her name but i know her profile name on youtube and me my team um my support worker who helped me through my struggles with mental illness and also the psychiatrist that helped me will be trying their best to trace her because from her posts recent posts it sounds very much like she is suffering from psychosis now this is very very common in people that suffer from bpd she openly admits that she has a diagnosis of bpd now, I understand from my studies in psychology when I was 18 that people with BPD or what is known now as EUPD, so that's Emotionally Unstable Personality Disorder. BPD is or was called Borderline Personality Disorder. Now, it's now deemed as EUPD professionally by psychiatrists. And with that personality disorder, I mean, she does even explain herself that she suffers from frequent meltdowns. She suffers from impulsivity. She, imp is, she suffers from depression. She suffers from frequent acts of uh, abuse, you know, towards other people. So that can be stalking behaviour, that can be aggressive outbursts that can be um, targeting people that she doesn't know that can be attacking people even in the street just very suddenly you know which makes that personality trait and that personality disorder that she has very very dangerous if she's not medicated for it now, she even openly admits on that video that she's not able to access antidepressants, which is rubbish. All people that are diagnosed with BPD or Emotionally Unstable Personality Disorder are supported by psychiatrists. They are under a team of psychiatrists and they don't just drop people that are diagnosed with BPD. It's not something that you can't be monitored by. It's something that if the mental health services know you have BPD or EUPD, as it's known now, they frequently monitor you. And if you start having frequent meltdowns and start struggling or start engaging in negative behaviours, they can very quickly section you and... They can section you for months and you have to then sit a tribunal to be released from psychiatric hospital. Now, she continues to harass, abuse and defame my character and engage in negative behaviour towards me. I will have no excuse, sorry, no other option to contact mental health services which to be honest i'm already thinking about i'm already thinking about contacting them and having her traced 
because she needs help. What she is suffering from at the moment is psychosis. And it's a very, very common illness in people with EUPD. Now, I find it very, very concerning what she's doing at the moment. She's purposely targeting me. And she's targeting me because I've been open about my own struggles with mental health. And I can see why she would reach out to me as an artist to maybe maybe tell someone what she's struggling with and I can read between the lines of that maybe she's doing it to get help and I can understand that I can understand that and I'm, I empathize with that I empathize with people that suffer from mental health issues but I don't empathize with people that have mental health issues that use their mental illness or use their personality disorders to abuse other people. That is wrong. It's not an excuse. It's not a meal ticket to abuse other people. When you get a diagnosis with mental illness or a personality disorder or autism or anything like that, it's not an excuse to abuse other people. And that can land you in prison. If you do it prolifically, you can end up in prison because it's harassment. Now, this is a public warning to her because I know she reads my posts. I know she reads my videos. I am making your story public as an example to other people and to you that I will not put up with abuse from anybody, regardless of your position or circumstances. There is never, ever an excuse to abuse, defame or write derogatory videos or statements about other people that are not founded. They're not provable. It is harassment. Now, please stop it. And if it continues as of now, on the 3rd of May, 2021, at 9am, if the abuse continues, I will have no other option than to contact mental health services and have you sectioned for your behaviour. It is a medical problem that you need to speak to your doctor about you need to go and get some medication, like an antipsychotic, not depressants, not antidepressants, because that will not recover you from psychosis. That will not recover you from emotionally unstable personality disorder. You need to be on antipsychotics because your behaviour, your videos, your voice tells me that you have psychosis. Your behaviour is very, very consistent with someone that is suffering from a psychotic episode. Now please, go get some help. Hi guys, so this is going to be a very personal update for me. Now usually I do reactions or share my opinions on people and certain YouTubers and whatever's happening. I haven't really been around a lot, so I'm going to explain why. Um, I had to write some of this stuff down to get it out of my head first, so if it sounds like I'm reading of something, I'm just reading my notes what I made. So, um, as some or, as some or most of you guys know, I, uh, am diagnosed with BPD, which is borderline personality disorder. Now, having BPD is a massive struggle in itself, and it can massively affect my 
judgment and reactions to things. So I may have an extremely bad judgment about something I want to do. Impulsivity. I'll impulsively say something nasty. I'll impulsively... It's not who I am. It just randomly, you know, what other people conceive as being nasty. It's not who I am. I'm not a nasty person. And, um, but, yeah, it can, it can impact a lot of my judgment and my reactions. My judgment can be impaired to think the worst of myself, etc. And I'll leave you guys to look it up if you're interested. Anyway, so within the last few months... I have been struggling with um, thoughts that I might not just have BPD. Um, and very few people know this. I think only two or three people know about it on Twitter and My people closer to me know about it, so if you know about it, hooray! I consider you trustworthy. Um, so basically, uh, for the last few months, it's been pretty bad. And I've been struggling with actually reaching out for help from. A medical professional, especially during COVID and the guilt of reaching out to a doctor during COVID. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person, you know, that goes to the doctor for something just to be told, oh, it's nothing major. You've got nothing to worry about. Or be refused help. And so I'd written, I'd say about three pages down and I did an e-consult, which is an electronic consult where you write your symptoms, what's bothering you, etc. And so my doctor was sent photos of the things I'd written down, and there was three pages of them, and there were symptoms I struggled with, and uh, behaviours I struggle with, and thoughts I struggle with, and things like meltdowns. I could have meltdowns over nothing when I feel overwhelmed it appears like nothing to some people but when I'm overwhelmed it is bad and uh, I said to the doctor it's been brought to my attention that I might not just have BPD it's been brought to my attention that I might ha I might be on the um, autism spectrum I've actually spoken to a whole range of people one of these people actually has uh, or is on the spectrum and they said uh, people with BPD often get misdiagnosed or dual diagnosed with BPD and or autism um, and the doctor says and the doctor says yeah I can see why you think that um, she says I have enough traits to warrant a referral for an assessment to see whether or not I do have it or I can be diagnosed with it. Um, because these are behaviours and problems that I've had, like, all my life. All my life. You know, I'm in my mid-30s now and I've struggled with these things and antidepressants have dulled some of the symptoms, but since... I wasn't able to be prescribed antidepressants. Um, I wasn't able to mask anymore. I think the term is masking. Nobody thought it could be more than what it was like, I don't know, on the spectrum, autism, Asperger's, whatever you want to say. Nobody thought of that until recently. You know? So that's the update, that's where I've been. I've been trying to come to terms with it and prepare myself either way, you know. If 
I am on the spectrum, I need to be prepared for that. If I'm not on the spectrum, then I also need to be prepared for that. Because I need to know what's going on in my head so I can better deal with it. So that is where I've been lately. Especially the last, I don't know how many days now. I haven't really been around very much. And I miss you guys so much. I miss talking to you. I miss live streaming. I miss hanging out in live streams. So yeah, um, that's it. Take care, you guys, and I will see you around on the socials.